Hello everybody and welcome to this week's issue of Toronto Performance Newsletter. For this week our performance tool that we're going to look at is the mini slide board lunch. So this right here is a mini slide board. You can buy it at uh, pretty much any fitness store for 10 bucks. If you don't have one, you can replace it by using uh, you know, a foam plate or plastic plate, small in size. If you've got some turf or some hardwood, uh, the, the plate will slide the same as a, as a board except that the plate will eventually probably tear apart or the will lashes a bit longer. So great investments um, if you're looking to, to do this uh, exercise or anything else using using a slide board. So a lunge is basically a, an advanced version of a split squat that has an actual forward or moving component to it. A lunge is moving where a split squat would be static. So the mini slide board lunge is a lunge variation that uh, we would program for a few reasons that has a, uh, some benefits that the traditional lunge does not. So for one, when you're using the mini slide board, it makes sense to program from a practical perspective in an area where you don't have a lot of space. Like I said, a lunge, a lunging action, lunging motion is, is, is forward moving and it's not just static. So in a tightly cramped space or in an area where there's other people training around you, it may be hard to program a traditional lunge because you don't have the space to move forward, which a lunge essentially is. But with the slide board, uh, you're able to get the same forward uh, moving motion even though you're static in one place. So that's one reason why, why they're fantastic. Another reason is a lot of athletes and people who experience pain at the top of the knee and the quadriceps tendon when doing traditional lunges or uh, split squats will actually experience less or no pain with the slide board. I'll demonstrate why that is in a moment, but essentially with the slide board, the quadriceps tendon is, is deloaded or it's loaded a little bit less than it is in a, in a split squat because it's not straight up and down, it's actually a, a pulling motion as opposed to just a pushing motion. So the split squat or uh, uh, static squat, you're coming down and pushing up and that tends to hold the tendon a bit more whereas a slide board has sort of a, a forward and back pulling motion as opposed to just a pushing up motion and that helps to eliminate some of the knee pain. So I find this tool to be very effective for obviously have cranky knees. But thirdly, and most importantly, the slide board lunge is fantastic for athletes looking to improve their gait in terms of knee health. It's great for helping to prevent ACL sprains and tears. Um, and the reason for that is because a, most times in the gym when training the lower body, the hip and the knee do the same action at the same time. So both the hip and knee engage in extension or in flexion at the same time. For example, again, a split squat, both engage in flexion on the way down and both engage in extension on the way up. However, with the slide board, what happens is you get uh, not only the hip and knee working together, but you also get them working in opposite actions. So as opposed to having the hip and knee do extension or flexion, you can have the hip performing extension well, the knee has or performs a sort of flexion action. So the combination of being able to get extension at the hip and flexion at the knee allows for you to really recruit the entire hip extension group and knee flexion group, which is both heads of the hamstring and both areas of the hamstring, both proximal near the hip and more distal near the knee, as well as the glute max. So it's a great way to teach uh, healthy firing patterns or recruitment patterns when looking to speed up or accelerate gait or to slow down and decelerate gait to make sure that the knee stays healthy. Oftentimes ACL sprains and tears occur simply because when we're running and trying to decelerate or accelerate the fibers which flex the knee and the ones which extend the hip are disproportionately uh, firing. They don't fire on time, they don't fire in coordination or some uh, fire more powerful than the other ones and so we get, a, we get, an, we get an imbalance where one joint is forced to do more work than the other joint and boom, that's when we have the, uh, the tear, the rupture, the sprain. But this is a great way to sort of reteach uh, well coordinated firing patterns at the hip and knee in both flexion and extension um, to keep the knee safe while running. So I'll demonstrate the movement right here. Put the slide board down and the non-working foot goes on the slide board where the working foot is on the ground like normal. What you're going to do is opposed to just a regular up and down action of a split squat or even a lunge, 
you slide backward and bend the knee, and while coming up, you're pushing up and pulling forward. So there's a push pull mechanic happening at all times when we're pushing ourselves up and also pulling ourselves forward. And that's what gets the hip extension and knee flexion activity at the same time as helps to protect the knee on any day. And the other side, you can see my working leg over here. Push backward, push and pull forward. Push backward, push and pull forward. Push backward, push and pull forward. So, once again, use a slide for lunge to be more practical in a space setting and get the lunge, which is a fundamental movement, uh, in an area where it may be popular, you can still get it in with the slide board. Number two, to decrease pain in the quadriceps tendon and unload it for those guys who've got cranky knees. Number three, to improve your knee health and deceleration and acceleration of gait by getting the simultaneous action of hip extension and knee flexion in one movement. So that's our tool for the week, the mini slide board lunge. Thanks again for tuning in. See you next time.